Namaste yogis, Mandy from Private Yoga Brisbane. We're going to start this practice with a beautiful early morning flow. Wake up the spine, get the shoulders and hips moving, lengthen out the hamstrings and the back of the body. So let's start in Sukhasana, in your easy seat. Now if this is uncomfortable for you to sit in this position, grab a cushion and sit on the cushion. If you have a block, sit on the block. Bring your hands down onto your knees. You can turn the palms up if you wish and bring your thumb and forefinger together in Shin Mudra. Your choice. Be as yogi as you like, but soften down with the shoulders. Imagine these bottom two ribs and pull them in towards each other. That will switch on your transverse abdominus and create that lifting sensation through the spine. Close down your eyes. Take a deep, full breath in and exhale from the mouth. One more time. Big, beautiful breath in. And side up. Keep the breath now in and out through the nose. Feel that beautiful float of the rib cage as you draw that life giving oxygen into your body. And let your breath out be steady and controlled. your eyes closed down, you can picture in your mind's eye, this is just standing on a beach and your breath is like the waves of the ocean. As you breathe in, you can see the waves rolling in towards your shore. And as you breathe out, you can see where the waves start to ebb away. Hold that visualization in your mind's eye. Soften the muscles around your hips. And take three more breaths. Ready, you can open your eyes and smile because it immediately changes your mood. If your palms are up, bring them down onto your knees. We're going to start curling the spine around, almost like it's a corkscrew. So your two sit bones are staying grounded down towards your mat. So one more time in this direction, and then let's reverse it up. Chest comes all the way forward, round, open across the shoulders and back. Let's go two more times this way. Come back to centre. Now draw forward through the chest and squeeze in between your shoulder blades and take your gaze up. And lean back, round through the upper back, tuck your chin. So breath in is forward. Breath out is back. Forward in, out. In, out. Two more times. Come back to centre. Arms by your side. Big, beautiful scoop up. Lengthen through the sides of your torso. Left fingertips, left side. Lengthen right side. Dance those fingertips away and take a side bend. Then sweep this arm and reach as far forward as you can. Fingertips onto the mat. Pick up your back hand and start to walk everything around to the front. Flatten through the palms. Relax your head down. Two breaths into the upper back. Walk your hands back in. Your dominant leg is on top, so switch over, second side, arms by your side, palms up, scoop up, lift up and lengthen, right hand comes over, left arm elevates, dance the right fingertips away, take a side bend, turn your chest over your right thigh and stretch far forward as you can, fingertips come onto the mat, 
start to draw your hands as far away as you can, but your sit bones are magnetized on the floor. Relax your head another two breaths. Walk your hands back in towards you. And let's take our legs wide. So if you feel that you are rolling back here, now's the time for you to stop the video, grab yourself a pillow and sit on the pillow. Help it lift your hips. We want these hip points to turn forward. Draw up through your toes to activate the under of the thighs. Clasp your hands out in front of you, thumbs up. We're churning the mill. Turn your shoulders over your right leg and stretch as far forward as you can towards your foot. And then sweep, core is active, all the way around to your left leg and draw up. One more time in this direction. Stretch towards your foot. Now I'm really lucky because I've got short legs. So it's easy for me to reach my toes. If you can't reach your toes, don't worry too much. It's a lot about anatomy, not so much about flexibility. We're going to reverse it up. So stretch towards that left foot. Reach as far as you can. Scoop low. Come around and up. Now if this is tense on the underside of your thighs. You can pop a bend in your knees. Stretch forward. Reach all the way around and come back up. Pick up underneath your knees, feet to the floor, and let's come up to a standing position. Your feet should be as wide as your hip bones. Knees stay soft and fold forward. Come all the way down towards the floor. Grab onto your opposite elbows, ragdoll pose, just let the elbows work down towards the back. Relax your head and relax your neck. A lot of us will keep tension in the jaw and the neck and feel that the head is weighting down towards the ground. Release your hands down, bring your hands to prayer and draw your hands to the outside of your right foot and make a big sweeping arc around to the left side and slide your hands up that leg. Rotate over and go down your right leg. One more time. Sweep all the way around to the left or up and over and down. Stay here and then take it over to the left side. Big sweep around to the right. Slide those fingertips up the right leg. You should feel a stretch on the left side body. Come all the way down. Another big sweep around to the front. Slide your hands up. Come back and down the left leg. Release your hands back to centre. And slowly roll up. When your arms and your head is heavy, and when you reach the top, give yourself a little shake out. Keep your feet stacked underneath your hips. Draw the lower belly in and up. Take a breath in. Raise up onto the balls of your feet. Bend your opposite elbows and touch your shoulders. And then lower back down. One more time. Lift up. Bend. Tap and lower down then step your feet as wide as the mat outer edges of the feet are parallel to the floor bring your hands onto your hips lift up through the chest and squeeze your shoulder blades together hinge from your hips come forward release your fingertips onto the floor if your hamstrings are tight you'll feel this on the back of your thighs you can put a little bend in your knees. If you're prone to locking your knees back and using your joints to hold you up, I want you to soften that and put a micro bend in. We're going to start to walk your hands underneath your body and bring your head towards the floor. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, lift your chest. Turn your right toes out and drop down, lift up your left heel, Skandasana. 
See how I have a little bit of a mock a little bit of a hyper, <laughs> hyper extension, little bend in that knee, left fingertips to the ground, take a big breath in and open through the shoulders. Keep pushing down through that front heel and drawing it in towards you. Fingertip comes down, push down, lift up and swap sides. Rotate the left toes up, raise the heel. So some of you may be here, some of you may be able to get the heel straight on the ground, that's completely fine. Fingertips out to the side, brace your knee in towards your elbow, use that to open the shoulders, lift up. Left heel presses down and pull in. Fingertips come onto the floor. We're turning to the front of the mat into a lunge. Lift up, frame your front foot and drop your back knee down. Breathe in to lift up. You always want to keep this ankle in front of the knee or stacked on top. Lower belly draws in and pull forward with the pelvis. So if your foot is back here, I want you to pick it up and move it towards the front so we can keep these joints safe. Arms by your side. Big breath in. Anjani Asana low lunge, lift up. And bring your right hand onto your right thigh. Lift up left side and take a side bend. Keep pulling the legs in towards each other so the hips stay active. Release the left hand down, straighten out your front leg, slide a little further forward, pull your toes up. Now tight hamstrings will need to bend the knee. Bring your fingertips towards the floor, straighten out the leg as much as you can and the more you pull the toes up, the more tension on the back of the thighs. Lower the chest down towards that front leg. Once you've gone as far as you can, relax your forehead, nose and lips towards your shin. Maybe give it a kiss and say good morning legs. Roll forward back into a lunge. You may need to pull this foot back a little bit. Lift up and we'll switch to the opposite side. Drop the knee down. Inhale, lift. Keep the pelvis scooping upwards. Like your hip pump points are trying to pull into your sternum, then bend deep into that front leg. Arms by your side, take a big stretch up. Left hand on left thigh, lift up right side and lean over towards the left. Here we're stretching into your right hip flexor. Release that hand down, frame your front foot. Press this hip back over the knee, and depending on the length of your legs, you'll need to slide your front foot forward. Check the pinky edge of your foot. It likes to lean away from you, so draw it back, and that will deepen the stretch on your calf muscle. Start to lower down. Chest comes towards the thigh. Once you've gone as far as you can, relax your forehead, nose, and lips, and give your other leg a kiss. And say, thank you, legs, for doing all this work for me. Lift your chest, pull the heel in, roll forward, and pick up and step, and sit back down on that bottom seat. Take your right shin and place it in line with the short edge of your mat. I'm facing this way for uh, the movie, for the film. Take this leg out to the side. So this looks like half a swastika, and a swastika is actually a Buddhist symbol for peace. The Nazi stole it, so we're taking it back. Shoulders are over that front thigh. Hands come over and pull forward with a little skin lock underneath that right butt cheek and start to rest your chest down. And this is a variation of pigeon pose for those of you who have really tight hips or if you have any knee pain. You can also prop a towel or a blanket underneath the knee if this causes you any pain. Rest the head down. Take three breaths here and let the entire weight of the body firm down onto the front thigh. So we're using gravity and our body weight to do the work in this posture. Walk your hands back in and lift up. Start to twist, deer pose. This hip will lift, 
square your shoulders as much as you can over this right thigh and lengthen forward with your left arm. Then you can bend the elbow, make a little cushion for your head, rest it down. Two breaths here. Lift up, walk your hands back in. Keep your hands off the floor, pick up, and swap sides. So this back leg is at a right angle, the front shin is in line with the short edge of your mat, dorsiflex your feet to protect the ankle joint, hands come over the shin bone, pull forward, swastika. Come down, and feel that stretch underneath the left butt cheek, rest your head. Remember your breath out is your opportunity to release and let go. Start to feel that sensation of the body as you exhale and surrender. Lift your chest up. Turn and this sit bone and hip will lift with you. Reach forward with your right arm. Let this knee come in if it wants to come in. Stretch it as far away as you can. Bend your back elbow, then bend the front elbow. Make a pillow for your head. Mirugasana deer pose, rest down. Take a last breath here. Walk your hands back in, lift up. Bring both feet out in front of you, hands behind you. Take some windscreen wipers from side to side. Really easy, simple way to start to release into the hips. So a quick 20 minute practice to get you started for your morning. You can scoot your bottom forward, feet flat to the floor, stretch your arms out in front of you. Feel those six pack muscles so scooping in and slowly rolling down onto the floor. From here, keep your gaze up. Start to get a bit sticky about now. Feet stay on the mat. Hold. Lie down. Big breath in. Arms above your head. Stretch out the legs. Pull the toes up. Lower back is flat. And exhale. Bring your arms by your side. Pick up the shoulders, slide them down. Toes fall out. Shavasana, close your eyes, you've got two minutes rest before you start your day. Let the back of your body feel heavy and supported by the floor. Relax your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Let yourself take rest. Deepen your breath. And these small movements into your fingertips and into your toes. And roll onto your side. Come up into a seated position. Good morning, yogis. Have a beautiful day. The divine in me honors the divine in you. We'll close our practice by together saying, Namaste.